Hey guys, welcome back to um, the charity build for Make-A-Wish Foundation. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just, today we're just gonna do the cam chain. So we've done a bit of work on the engine in the previous videos uh, for the new cylinder on, new piston, um, etc. So we're gonna pull off the casing, um, take the flywheel off. We're gonna do the timing and the cam chain sort of thing. Um, so this is my last show for this year. I'm away on holidays um, with the family, so um, I know there's a few few guys were going to do this this cam chain or we're going to do the engines over the Christmas break So I thought I'd better in between packing and getting ready to go. I better smash out this quick video to um, To help you guys that are doing this over the Christmas break and um, Hopefully, you know, it will be be uh, Good for you to see it and and um, help you with yours. So I'm just going to take the camera down So I've just set up my engine on its side uh, if you if your engine is in the bike, you can shut the fuel, tap off, drain the fuel out of the carby, lay the bike on the side, and do the same thing. So um, that's you know not too bad. I've taken out these screws to hold on this stator cover. Just going to give that a bit of a wiggle and pop up. Um, one thing I will be doing too is I'll replace this seal here. This is a gear shift lever seal just because I'm replacing all the seals on the engine, so um, the, we might as well do this one wiped out. Um, and sort of punch it out from the inside a bit easier and then um, replace it. The gasket on here, I haven't damaged it, removing it, but oh, it's, it's sort of cracked there just from age and it's, it's deformed. So I've got a new one, so obviously um, to make sure it's, you know, it's no point doing all the rest of the work and then putting an old gasket back in. So, um, I think I've said it before, buy the basic kit. Uh, it's not dear. And then just as you go, replace them. Um, save any leaks um, down the track. So we're gonna remove the flywheel. Look, I've, there's lots of different schools on, you can do it you know, with a couple of pry bars. You can do this, you can do this. Look. Um, this is the easiest way that I find to do it. Um, and unfortunately you have to have the tools. If you don't have them, um, you might be able to borrow them off someone or you might be able to come to someone who's got them. Um, we'll buy them if you, if you think you're gonna do some more work. So I've just got my, um, my gun here. Better turn the air on to it, otherwise it will not work. Make sure that's in the right go. I'm going to go quickly because my compressor is probably going to cut in soon. So I'll just get that on. All right. That's simple with the right tool. Without the right tool, you're trying to jam, stop this thing from moving. Um, all sorts of issues and hassles. Um, I'm going to stop that now. I'm going to quickly turn my compressor off so it doesn't cut in while I'm talking to you. And then I'll put this guy in. Okay, I'm back. Press is off, so uh, it's it's one we use for work with the nail guns and stuff like that. It's pretty loud, so if it cuts in, you're not going to hear a thing. So this again is specialised tool. It's a you know flywheel puller, I suppose, or removing tool. Um, again, it's worth getting one of these. Uh, just. makes it easier yeah. now this is the painful thing there's a washer in here that sits inside I always struggle with this washer getting it out um, it sort of it sort of jams up and won't come out this is magnetized this screwdriver and it's not picking it up Ooh. I'm just gonna have to get another screwdriver. I'll do that. I'll get that washer out. The thing is, that washer's not letting this tool go in far enough to pick up the thread, and we want to make sure that we've got a good bit of thread in there because we're going to damage this or that if it's not right. So I'll do that now. Righto. So that painful little washer is out. Um, is out now. Washer nut. 
Um, and now I should have enough room to put this remover in. Yep, that's good him now. So I got enough room. So that's a reverse thread too. Um, so I've got him in now. Okay, so um, what I'm doing is I'm just going to try a bit of a cheats way first up. Is um, chuck a 17 mil socket on this. Um, going to go forward. So I'm just going to go a little bit, not too crazy. Okay, and that just again the rattle gun just gets that vibration. That's taking that off now. Um, again, if you were trying to do it with levers, you can damage your casing. You're not going to get a good seal. I just, I just strongly recommend it's worth getting the tools um, or borrowing them off someone or, um, you know, uh, really the only specialised thing is going to be this pull on it. Probably common. You might be able to get a local bike shop. Uh, I, I got one from the local um, shop up here and I ordered one online, so I got two here. Um, also, what I did at the same time was order the one for the clutch on the other side. So um, if you're going to be playing on these engines, those two tools are probably the ones that you're gonna want to get um, so now that that's off put that aside to keep this going so I don't run out of too much time um, we've got our cam chain it's just sitting in here so I might take the camera out and give you a close-up of all of this just so we can see all right so this is our cam chain adjuster and that's our sort of um, locking bolt. Get my hand out of there so you can see. As this pulley here, I'm trying to do it. Just get, um, I adjusted it right up because of that bit of right. That's the tensioner, okay? So that sits on the chain and tensions it. As that goes, that pushes down this piston here. This actually has a flat spot on it. This we'll call it a piston. Um, has a flat spot on it, and that's what this sort of locks it off on there to, to firm it up. I'll show you how to adjust that in a minute. Um, chain goes around here. Now this guy, it's our oil pump drive. Um, I've inspected that already, it looks pretty good. It's nice and smooth for free. So okay, with the impact drive, I'm gonna just remove those screws, and that will let us take that out. Alrighty, so I've removed those screws to hold this, this sort of locking plate in here. And also this other one that sits sits out holds this tensioner in place. Um, I also removed this cover for the um, the tensioner, so the spring inside there. Um, this was wound all the way in because this cam chain had a lot of well, quite a lot of wear, so it was adjusted right up. So what I've done is I've just taken that right back out to to full adjustment out. Um, that's made this a lot easier to sort of move around. Um, what I'll do, I'll take that little guy out before I lose him. Um, what I'll do is I'll leave that in. Um, it just makes it easy to get the chain in. Once it's all in place, then I'll, I'll tighten up. Shouldn't really need to because it's a new chain. It should actually be at full adjustment. So um, we'll see how that goes when we get it there. I'll take this off. So that's just the cover that sits on the oil drive now I'm threading the chain and I'm just sliding it out basically so that's our old cam chain and the oil drive can come out we'll check for wear um, other things to check for cracking and stuff along here where there's no no even crack, um, not a huge amount of wear on the teeth. Make sure that they sit in the chain nicely. Um, I've got some other ones here, so. Let's see if I can compare. Compare the two. Um, there is a bit of wear on those teeth on that. That's probably better, this one. Um, 
or this one, or this one. So I'll just go through them and find the best one um, there. But you can see there is a fair bit of wear on that teeth actually when you look closely at that and compare it to the other ones. Um, put the camera down here. You can see the difference, I'm trying to hold that camera steady for you. There is quite a bit of wear on it, so I'll probably be changing it up to one of these other ones, um, the best one I've got. And just put it in and make sure that there's no movement inside, that's sitting in there nice and, and smooth and clean. So I'll tidy that up, I'll put that guy back in, I'll take this tensioner off so it's sort of come. Okay, so... Um, I probably don't have to do this this video in two parts. I just had a quick look at the time. I'm probably going to run out of time to do it, and I don't I don't believe in editing it out and making it shorter so that um, to fit within one video, I'll just do two. And at least if you really want to know what's going on with it, you'll you'll watch it and you'll get the whole the whole thing instead of um, wondering what's happening. So um, we'll probably do two videos, but it's all good. So. This is the, the roller that goes inside the cylinder. So just wanted to show you the difference between the new one and the old one. And it's a, you know, it's a massive difference and, and there's no wonder the poor old bikes make a lot of noise and the chain's noisy. So um, if you're doing any work on your engine, the, again, they're not, look, it adds up. It does get expensive at the end of it, but if you've got to rip it down and do it again, it's gonna be more time involved and probably more cost at the end of the day so um if you are doing it just check these stuff and get it right um and then you can enjoy your posty without going to be working on all the time so that's that one same thing here so here's the new tensioner so again you can see the the difference between the two um yeah, it's chalk and cheese so we're going to change them out. I found a nice oil drive. It's got hardly anywhere on it. Um, I checked the cam gear because if there was wear on the oil drive, there's probably going to be wear up here. It's actually not bad. So I, I, as I said in the early videos when we first pulled this motor, I suspect it's had some work up the top done. Um, I have got some more of these, so I will go through and check. Um, if I've got a better one, I'll put it on. All right, so I just found another one there that's looks pretty much new. Um, I don't know how much you're gonna see of that. That's the one that come come out of the engine. See how it's shiny. See how it's sort of got the shape of the chain on it. This one does, but not as much. And it's actually the teeth aren't as rounded off. They're a bit square at the top. So this one's in in good condition. That's not bad. If you had to use that, you probably would. But if you've got an option, definitely go for the the better one um you know some some guys will say oh you have to replace everything and do it but yes you probably should um you know if you're doing the build like this is this is a good gear here it's you know new chain new tension all that stuff so this is going to be spot on but um you know i've seen them run with some pretty bad stuff in it and, and be a bit quieter so uh it's up to you if you want to go that extra yard and, and do this sort of stuff and put the money into it to know that you're gonna have a great engine um, do that this this was a pretty good engine to start with so um, it would be perfect with all this stuff in it but if yours is worn and you haven't got the luxury of having a few lying around like me then maybe it's just time to order it and, and um, do the extra bit so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Put this in so make sure this is in the right way first so so it's got this rebated edge on it that actually goes in down so the smooth sides facing up so what happens is the cam goes through and that sits and bolts onto that flat surface and that rebate side goes in so the cam slides in after you get it all sort of in place so put this on the 